Okay, and we're rolling. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's Sebs and Holly. We don't do that. We don't. We don't ever do that. <laughs> Welcome to uh, what is it? Fun with flags. <laughs> yeah. And he, he does the yeah. Thank you for being here. Um, okay, so Linkin Park has a new song. Mm -hmm. um, they put this up on the YouTube um, eight days ago, so we're a little late to the party. Okay. But we did get a tip and donation from a longtime friend of the channel, Moa. Um, you know, Moa actually speaks Spanish too, so I'll say something in Spanish. Oh. Te pasaste. Thanks, Moa. Thanks so much. What did I you mean, say? Te pasaste is one of the ways. Te pasaste. Te is like te? you. Like T-E. Uh-huh. And then pasaste, like you repeat it. Pasaste. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Chilean slang for Chilean slang. Slang. <laughs> it's Chilean slang for like you like you were awesome. Like you're awesome. Like, so P A S A S T E. Yeah. Pasaste. Pasaste. It's the you know whatever. I, I don't I, I don't remember how what these gr grammatical terms mean, but mm -hmm. the verb is pasar. Mm. So te pasaste, like. You're awesome. It, it it's like literally is like you went above and beyond. Mm, okay. You passed it. Gotcha. Te pasaste. pasaste. Yeah. My sister also recommended this song. Yeah. So she did not donate. <clears throat> but that's she's okay. She's got the family card. She does have the family card. <laughs> well, I'm excited to check it out. I mean, Lincoln Park, key important band of our you? growing up. Yeah. For you, you, did you listen to? I did listen to it, but not like you did. Yeah. So for but me, I did listen. Yeah. To so for for me, it was like one of like the first like songs we we Wait a played minute. with my band. How was there a new Lincoln Park song? So they recorded a lot of stuff that they just never released. Okay. Let's actually so it's see. Not like a newly written song, obviously. Yeah. It's been recorded, but they just never had released it. Okay. So. Uh, earlier this week, Linkin Park began teasing a new song. Swell Sword. Uh, yeah, it was, it was initially recorded during the sessions for 2017's One More Light, but was ultimately shelved to be released as a B-side sometime down the line. Well, that time is now. now. Okay. So well, let's just do it. Thank you guys on. for coming to hang out. If you're here, it's because you love this song. You love this band. Uh, already has 4.3 million views in eight days. So what we're gonna do, um, like I'm sure you guys already know these channels, but we have to pause the the, the song uh, quite often, and, and we'll talk about it. We'll keep those pauses brief, but then we'll talk like uh, the lyrics and everything more in depth at the end. And we're also gonna do a little bit of uh, an analysis of the comments section so far with just a tech company with uh, all the help and support you guys give us. We're throwing that into this little fun kind of side gig. Yeah, we're working who, on. who knows if it comes something, but it's just been fun. So. Yeah. We'll do that. I say we're working on like I've done an ounce. You of worked work. really hard on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take us there, boys. Tell me the words I've forgotten, what we were fighting for. Staring right into the darkness through an empty open door. Can't put back what's been broken. Can't change the moment. Oh gosh, it's so hard we seeing him. Far. We're pulling apart for no reason. We're pulling a trigger in a useless war. And if we come back and go into the black, what are we fighting for? What are we fighting for? Beautiful. Yeah. Cutting you off there, Chester. Mm -hmm. Babe, what do you think so far? Yeah, really good 
beat. Yeah. I like the beat. It's like there's like no like heavy rock at all there. It's it's yeah. it's pretty modern. But I was thinking like it's Lincoln Park has their own very unique sound. Yeah. I'm like, what is it that makes their sound? Because they didn't sound like other bands at the time. No. I mean, because they were they mixed, you know, elements of hip hop and RB with the heavy metal at the time, right? And they became slightly less metal, I feel like, yeah. as they grew older, right? Yeah. I mean, their first album, they were angry, yeah. right? And but and so it was really cathartic. Yeah, they got as a, a lot a of the, Yeah. They got a lot of the emo yeah. stuff. But in like it was because there was all the what am I trying to think? The like poppy punk. Yeah, no, they were you know, yeah. Like that was really big. There's a lot of that. And but they were very unique. But everyone who liked the poppy punk also liked Lincoln Park. And then the people who liked heavy stuff liked Lincoln Park. So they were yeah. just a great like that's why they were But I'm like, you can tell when it's a Lincoln Park song. I'm like, why can I tell? What is it they're doing that makes it? I, I think it's the hip hop element. Maybe. within yeah. this like and it's his voice yeah like but his even without his voice yeah but but I, th I think like yeah just mixing those hip-hop elements with like th this beautiful singing and then once yeah. in a while like it, it, you know the the rap does come in yeah i mean this doesn't have it but yeah this is this is really really cool yeah um the okay so we're like we'll go through the lyrics later but I mean, great topic, very interesting topic. Like, mm -hmm. why is it that with your most loved ones, when you're in like a bad place, you attack those people who love you the most? And... Yeah, because you feel the safest there. Yeah. 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 It's like our kids. It's like they say your kid will be good at school all day and then they come home and they're like acting out for you. It's because they can act out. They feel like this is safe. Yeah. Like, yeah. But so, but at, so at the same time, like it's it's a warning to like, like don't do that. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. don't take for granted. Yeah. Right. Gosh, Chester's voice is so good. Fire, 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 fire. Like, that must be so cool as a band to be like, dude, this song's awesome. Like, that feeling, like, we did this together. What a cool music video, too, to just show, like, all of this. Oh, way to bring in that acoustic. Yeah, that was cool. I like that. Oh, gosh. Wait, did you, so yeah, what did you like? Just that beat and it... Yeah. It I, sticks I, with you. It's a... Like I'm gonna I'm gonna add that to my gym playlist like, and listen to it a lot. Like it's a great song. Yeah, yeah. It's a great because song. you know I don't like rock screamo heavy metal. Yeah, but I like when it's like close to it. Yeah, when they yeah yeah no when they, and when they do it it's it's special. Like they mm -hmm. they do they do it amazing right. But I really like mellowed out Lincoln Park. Yeah, me too. So like that song that they made for example that got super big when tra that transformers yeah, what, movie came out what was that one song it was i know what song you're talking about i'm gonna look it up now what i become i found yeah. myself yeah i'm looking it up though because now it's bugging me you keep you pull up the, thing. <laughs> the lyrics no but i mean what, what what i love about it though like okay so when it comes to the message of the song, too, I loved how they posed in that question, what are we fighting for, mm -hmm. right? So you mentioned earlier, with those that you love the most, because of that comfort, the de you will let them see your demons, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but with that, like, it comes, like, it, it gives us, it, it shows the importance of making sure you 
handle those demons, right? Because yeah. if not, they're going to come out with your loved ones, the people who yeah. may deserve it the least in your life, yeah. right? So go deal with it, right? Mm -hmm. Find ways to... I mean, we've talked about this. Like, I think that's why it's so important for people to have, like, physical fitness be a part of their mm -hmm. life. Like, I feel like you can put a lot of your demons at bay mm -hmm. by exercising it out and mm -hmm. eating good food so that you don't... Right, like... Yeah. If you're eating like crap, I really like it really mess, you need messes to take you up. Take care of your physical health, your spiritual health, your Getting mental health, your decent, social health. Yeah, like literally like if every, one of those is is hurting, it's going to affect the others. And and again, like the things that have broken my heart the most in my life, it's when like that that came out with my kids. Like thankfully mm -hmm. it's never it ha like I'm the luckiest man. I feel like the luckiest man in the world because I come home and my kids are pumped to see me. Mm -hmm. Like, so nothing's been messed up. Mm -hmm. But I still remember the times where it's like it got it, it could like have gone there. And, and, yeah. and it's the worst feeling. I know. So yeah, I feel like, you know, they just talk about that. And that's and that's great. Yeah. Did you find uh, the song? No, because I can't remember what it's called and I don't want to be messing it. Um, what it's it's what I've done by Lincoln Park. No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Oh, really? You're probably thinking of a different one. I mean, they have, like, they have so many hits. I know they. Do. It's amazing. It's um. Okay, now I'm just gonna. You're probably gonna hear it, but I'm like this one. Oh, Shadow of the Day, great song. And the shadow of the day. Yeah, yeah that's a great it, like, song. Because it waits to like the end to like drop the beat. Oh yeah. I love a song that has a delayed beat drop. Oh for sure. <laughs> I don't know why. For it sure. It feels so good. <laughs> no, they're just they're just great. All right, let's do a quick little you know sentiment analysis on the comment section here. So, not much negative at all. Like yeah. how could there be right? I, know. I mean, it's all the fans checking them checking this out. Yeah. Um, key takeaways. The emotional impact of Chester and Lincoln Park's music is significant. Many comments express love, admiration, and emotional connection to Chester and Lincoln Park's music. Again, he just put to words these, like, I think, like, art, like, that millennial generation, we were in middle school there. Mm -hmm. um, we, we were the generation of our parents wanted our life to be better than theirs, right? Like, that was what their focus was. Mm -hmm. And it was just annoying as a kid. So, like, I think that's why I liked Linkin Park. I don't know. Like, um. I was just an angsty teenager. Yeah. But I wasn't ever, like, uh, I wasn't ever, like, fully, like, e I was never an emo. Sure. I was always in my bright colors and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I didn't always like when it got, like, really dark. I no. Didn't, I didn't like that. For sure. Um, one of my bands... So, my band, when I was in seventh grade, that's when we first put our first band together. The first two songs we learned how to play were Island in the Sun by Weezer uh -huh. and One Step Closer by Linkin Park. So, we went... <laughs> we went... Yeah. Opposite ends of the... You stretch. had a vision. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, that's what we were doing. Linkin Park's music has helped fans through difficult times. Several yeah. comments mentioned how Linkin Park's music has helped them cope with hard times. Seriously. Sharing memories and footage of lost members is appreciated by fans. Yeah, yeah. I, I like I, I think I said that too. It, it just yeah. it was just so cool to see like, oh, they loved each other like so much. And that's why yeah. they stuck together for so long. Right. Yeah. 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 One comment specifically mentions the appreciation for bands sharing memories of lost members with their fans. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's like like let's read some of them like directly. Yeah. The summary is good enough. We're good. <laughs> uh, we're never going to like. There's just so many. Art. I feel kind of cheated. Like I never got to see Linkin Park live, right? And I yeah. could. I I had so that I had a lot of chances. Did for. you? Yeah. And and I, and I do regret that. And like I don't know. I, I listened to a Prince song. Like I watched a Prince performance a few days ago. Like never gonna watch Prince. Like there's just so many. There's good things to come to. Is there though? Yes. Is that the future you want to leave your children? Sorry, everything good's already happened. I mean, I mean, it's not what I want to leave. I'm <laughs> just. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let us know. Comment down below. But oh uh, man, what a trip down memory lane! But then it's so great to hear a new song though. Yeah, no, that was, I, was I really liked it. Yeah, and yeah, it, it's going to the gym playlist right away because I lo I loved it. Which is the ultimate compliment. That is coming from this guy. Like gym playlist means. This song, yeah, I will listen to every day, yeah, for the foreseeable future. 
Damn so, right. If anyone wants to know what that means. It means a lot. That's what it means. Bye, everybody. Thanks for being <laughs> here. Check out the description down below to find ways to support.